Your brain is organized to reflect everything you know in your life. Your brain is a record of the past. It's an artifact mm -hmm. of everything you've learned and experienced in this mo uh, moment. If feelings and emotions are the end product of past experiences, and we can remember experiences better because we remember how they feel. So most people wake up in the morning and they start remembering all their problems. Mm -hmm. And those problems are connected to certain people and certain things at certain times and places. The moment they start thinking about those problems, they're thinking in the past. Those problems have an emotion associated with them. Mm -hmm. And the moment they start feeling those emotions, the body is the unconscious mind, doesn't know the difference between an experience that's creating an emotion and the emotion the person's fabricating by thought alone. Now, thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings are the language of the body. And how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. Mm -hmm. So most people's entire state of being when they start their day is already in the past. So you have a choice. The choice is you're either defined by a vision of the future or you're defined by the memories of the past. And when you decide to say, okay, I'm going to change, and you decide one thing, I'm not going to eat this food, I'm going to wake up earlier, uh, I'm going to do something aerobic, I'm not going to have mm -hmm. sugar after six o'clock, whatever it is, yep. the person, whatever choice a person makes, the moment you make a choice, to do something differently. And the hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before. Get ready, because it's going to feel uncomfortable. Right. It's going to feel unfamiliar. There's gonna be some uncertainty and unpredictability, and that's the moment the game is on. Yes. So then, most people, their, their body has been conditioned emotionally to be the mind. So now, the, so the, the body says, wow, uh, I'd rather hang on to my guilt mm -hmm then take a chance and possibility. I'd rather live in fear yes. than trust in the unknown. So, yep. so once the person feels uncomfortable, the body goes, whoa, wait a second, uh, we're out of the program here, and body starts influencing the mind. That's right. So it says, start tomorrow, you'll never change, right. you don't have the money to do this, you're not good enough, your mother told you you were this, yep. your father's fault, it's your ex's fault. Mm -hmm. You know, all of the voices that mm -hmm. come up. Now here's the deal. If you respond to those voices, those same thoughts as if they're true, by the way, they're always going on behind sure. the scenes of your awareness, but sure. now they're amplified because you're outside your comfort zone. You believe in that thought. That thought's going to lead to the same choice, which is going to lead to the same behavior, which is going to create the same experience and produce the same emotion. Mm -hmm. And the person's going to say, this feels right. Yes. No, 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 that feels familiar. Going from the old self to the new self is a neurological, it's a biological, it's a chemical, it's a hormonal, it's a genetic death of the old self. Mm -hmm. And people will say to me, in that void, in that unknown, mm -hmm. I can't predict my future. And I'll say to them, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Not it. from the known, but from the unknown. I love it. So close your eyes now and think about that vision. Mm -hmm. Once you start thinking about that vision of your future, you're activating the creative centers in your brain. Mm -hmm. And naturally, Mm -hmm. you begin to think about putting yourself in the scene. Yes. And the act of doing that, when you're truly passionate and truly present, the moment you're defined by that vision, when the thought in your mind becomes the experience, mm -hmm. you begin to feel the emotion of the event before it's made manifest. Yes. Now, you're giving your body mm -hmm. a sampling, a taste I of the it. future. And now, if a thought and a feeling create a new state of being, you're combining a clear intention with an elevated emotion, mm -hmm. and now you're beginning to change your biology, and you're seeing a whole new landscape that you could never see before, because you're no longer viewing your future through the lens of the past. I love this. Now, this, this requires, then, something really specific, because most people will wait for their, their, uh, their wealth to feel abundance. They'll right. wait for their success to feel empowered. They'll wait for their new relationship yep. to feel love. They'll, They'll get all these things when. Yes, right. so, so, so think about that. The absence of getting those things causes people to live in lack their entire life. That's right. And so they're waiting for something outside of them to change how they feel inside exactly. of them. And if they're not creating a new life, then they're not applying the proper principles, then they keep all their manifestations, all their dreams at, at arm's length. Well, think about this. If yeah. you get up feeling gratitude, if you get up feeling empowered, if you get up feeling mm -hmm. whole, if you get up feeling unlimited, mm -hmm. yeah. why, would you, why would you worry about whether it was gonna come or not? You would feel like it already happened.